With its ability to provide a terminal directly inside of Sublime Text and to be used inside of a build system to allow you to execute an interactive program from directly inside of Sublime, it's no wonder that Terminus is a very popular package indeed. And unsurprisingly, the videos I've done on the channel about it thus far are some of the most popular videos that I've done. Now, as a result of that, I do get a lot of questions about using Terminus in a build system, specifically in a tab in a build system, and uh, how to get various things to work the way you might like them to. So in today's video, we're going to cover some quick tips to supercharge your Sublime Text build systems using Terminus. <music> Hello fellow Sublime Text fanatics, Odat Nerd here. Welcome back to another Sublime Text tutorial video, the topic of which is Terminus. Now, as I said in the introduction to this video, Terminus is a very powerful, very popular package, and the videos I've done under some of the most popular ones on my channel. Now, as a result of that, I do get a lot of commonly asked questions, the same sort of questions over and over again about using Terminus in a build system, specifically running it in a tab in a build system, as opposed to uh, replicating a standard internal build system and putting it in a panel at the bottom of the window. And I thought today we'd go over some of those problems and how we can actually solve them. Now, in the interest of being uh, hopefully as brief as possible here today and rehashing as little as possible, we're going to assume that you understand how build systems work and are set up, uh, how you would use Terminus in a build system. And specifically how you would use it to use it in a build system that runs its output in a tab. And if you're unfamiliar with any of those things, don't worry. Uh, down in the description of this video, I've put some links to other videos on the channel that cover those very topics because we have covered them before. And uh, while you're down there, there's also a link to a plugin that we're going to be seeing in just a minute. Uh, by no means feel that you need to transcribe this thing out. Just go down in the uh, description and follow the link and you're good to go. And if you're not sure how to use the plugin, there's a video link down there about how to install a plug-in in your particular copy of Sublime Text as well. And hey, while you're down there, maybe you want to use those buttons to thumb subscribe and share and ring the bell notification icon as well. So when the next video becomes available, you'll know about it right away. But until then, let's go ahead and dive into the commonly asked questions. Every time I run a Terminus build, I get another tab and I have to manually close them. Is there some way to get Terminus to reuse the same tab that it used last time? If you're seeing this problem, it means the auto-close property in your build system is set to false. Doing so stops Terminus from automatically closing the tab as soon as the program is done running. So you could set that to true. However, you generally don't want to do that because that will make the tab disappear as soon as the program is finished running, which means you don't actually have a chance to see what it did before it goes away. Fortunately, Terminus does have a way for us to do something like this. And if we're using Terminus open as the target in our build system, we can add a tag key in here. Now, the value of this is a string. It can be pretty much anything you like. I'm going to use Python in this example because because that's what this build system actually is. Now what this actually does is get Terminus to tag this particular terminal that it's creating for the purposes of this build system with a particular name. And using that name, you could have plugin code send text directly to the running tab here if you wanted to do something like that. You can also use it to define key bindings that take specific effect only in this Terminus tab as opposed to other Terminus tabs or terminals that may exist. And uh, if we include this, then Terminus will automatically reuse the same tab every time you run a build. So all you have to do is set this, and every time you run your build system, the first time you run it, you'll get a new tab, and every other time, it'll just reuse the tab that you used the first time. When I run a build, the Terminus tab appears right next to the file that I'm trying to build. Is there some way that I can set up to be able to see the build and the code at the same time? As we have seen in the previous example, whenever you start a build running with Terminus, if it doesn't already have a tab and it needs to create one, that tab will appear adjacent to the file that you're currently editing because it's using the same new file technology as you would be using if you were creating a new tab. So is it possible to get this to appear in a different file group? And the answer to that is yes. We actually covered this in the video on Terminus and using it in build systems that's linked down below. But uh, very quickly, all we need to do is go into our build system and apply a post window hooks key, such as the one seen here. Now, this is a list of commands that will be executed after the Terminus terminal has been created. And uh, to do this, you need to install the origami package as well. And it has a command in it named carry file to pane. That command takes a direction argument that can be left, right, up, or down. For this particular example, I'm sending it to right. So what this means is when we execute the build, the build will 
cause the terminal to be created, then this command will shift it over to a file group on the right, creating that group if it doesn't already exist, and your tab will appear in there so you can see the code running and still see the file that you're actually editing. My build uses post window hooks, but every time the build moves to another part of the window, the currently focused tab changes and it's slowing me down. You may have noticed in the previous example that whenever you execute a build and the file is moved from one file group to the other, in this particular example to the right, the focused file in the group where the tab originated from is altered. Specifically, it ends up being the file to the right of the one that you were actually building, so you can't see the code anymore if there happens to be other files after that one. And this is a side effect of the mechanism that's grabbing the tab and moving it over. Sublime needs to determine what tab it should have focused in the pane where the file went away and it chooses the file to the right instead of the file to the left. Now we could solve that manually by readjusting the focus in that particular thing, but we could also do the same thing automated by way of a plugin. And an example of that is the command shown here, which is from the plugin I showed you in the beginning of the video and which is linked down in the description so you don't have to try to transcribe this yourself if you don't want to. Remember, there's a video down there if you don't know how to apply this thing. Uh, but this uh, creates a command called window focus and very simply it either saves the, a record of which file in which group of files has the input focus or it restores that after it has been saved. So going back to our build system, we're going to adjust it a little bit like so. Now we have here pre-window hooks and post-window hooks. And in the same way that post-window hooks are commands to be executed after the terminus tab is created, pre-window hooks happen before the tab is created. So the first thing we do is store what tab in what window and what group rather of the window has the focus. Then we let uh, Terminus do its thing and create its tab. Then the post window hooks move the file to the appropriate direction and refocus the tab that was originally there. And as a result, when we execute the build, the tab is still on the side and we can still see the code that we're trying to build. I have my Terminus build set up to move tabs to a different file group, but I'm ending up with a bunch of tabs in that group. Is there some way that I can get it to reuse them? This particular issue is an offshoot of the first one we covered in this video, and as a result, you might think that all you have to do is go into your Sublime build file and apply a tag to your view so that Terminus will keep reusing the same tab. And surely that will seem to work the very first time you run a build, but the next time you run the build, you'll find that you end up with an extra column stuck in the middle. And the same thing will happen if you execute the build again. What actually is going on here? Well, what actually happens here is that the, uh, there is a result of reusing the tab. It doesn't have to create the tab again, but it does focus the tab. So if said tab is already in the group of files that you'd like to have it move to, the build system, as it follows along, the last thing it tries to do is move that to a group to the right. So it does so, but it's already in the right, and you end up with an extra column. So again, the solution to this would be to manually close the tab before you actually run the build. So once again, we could automate this with a, a plugin so that we don't have to do that step manually, the joys of Sublime. And the other command that's in the plugin that's linked down below, this command right here is for this very purpose. All it does is scan the particular window that the command is running inside of for a terminus tab that has a specific title. And if it finds it, it closes it. So that does mean that in order to use this, your terminus build system has to have a custom title uh, and you can set that by applying a title key inside of your build system, such as the one that I have here. Uh, otherwise, the tab will have a title, but you won't necessarily know what it is, so it's not really safe to do this. And we also don't want to use tag because that's going to cause the problem that we just saw. So we're going to adjust the build to have pre-window hooks and post-window hooks just like this. And what we're doing first is storing exactly what window in which group is focused, which is what we just saw in the previous thing. Then we get our other plugin command to close the terminus view with the title that is being used by the same build in this build system and then reset the focus. And that's important because the plugin that closes the tab uses a terminus command and that terminus command will leave the focus in a place that you don't expect and the exact same problem will happen. You're basically 
re replicating the exact same thing that it's doing internally when it closes and reopens the tab. And it does leave the focus in the wrong place in that particular case. And once that's done, we can let it create its new tab and then carry it over to the appropriate place and reset the focus just like we did previously. If you didn't want to, you wouldn't have to use the window focus command at the last item of post window hooks, but that does solve the problem that we covered previously on the focused view changing in the window. And that is the four most common questions I get asked about using Terminus with a build system in Sublime Text. The question of the day is, have you ever had these particular problems yourself? Do you have other problems with using Terminus as a build system or just as a regular package? Let me know down in the comments section below. And while you're down there, maybe you want to show your support by using those buttons to thumb subscribe and share as you deem appropriate. And if you do and you ring the bell notification icon, you'll be made aware of the next tutorial as soon as it becomes available. And until that happens, this is Odat Nerd asking you to please have have a sublime day.